and I'm here to show you what little bits I have left of the kit. So pretty much that's the biggest piece I've got. They're all pretty small. Nothing too fancy in the paper department. Little bits of maybe for layering. But I don't want to layer it all together. There's too many layouts that I've done already with this kit that I am a bit over the papers, even though I say that. But now I've, I think about five times I've gone to do this killer kit video and share what I've got left and what I made and I've made another layout. Then I've gone and done it again and made another layout. So I say that <laughs> there's not much left and that I'm a bit over it, but I keep making them and that is the case indeed. So here is some of the foam stickers. I don't have much left at all. Let me just see, is there any more? No. So out of the 6x12 foam sheet with the foam words and pictures and stuff, this is all I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six things left. And they'll be good for Project Life. So I'm going to cut them up and put them in here. You can see I've used Heart and Stars galore. Barely any left. Here's the clear sticker words. Not many left at all. One, two, three, four, five. So I really have used a lot of everything. I even added the 12x12 chipboard. Um, and this is all I've got left of it. I don't know. These triangles, I can never make them work. They're on a few different chipboards and I just can't get them to work. Here is the, what are they? Gold tiny word stickers. And I just used the second piece, not because they I doubled up on words or anything. I did a couple of times, but partly because that's whatever I reached. Obviously the stencil will go in my stencil collection. And look at this. I used all the leaves and all the flower stickers. Nothing left. All gone. So straighten the bin with that one. Obviously the stamp, which was amazing. I love these um, pieces that are going to be still a well-used stamp in my collection, that's for sure. So the 6x12 um, sticker sheet, I will just cut out the pieces. So a lemon, a pear, the word dream, that beautiful girl, a label. Actually, I didn't realise the label was still there. Probably could have used it. The rabbit and the cherry. I don't know how I'm going to use a pear and a cherry, but you never know. So I'll just cut around them, stick it in the container. Now, in terms of alphas, I still have plenty of these ones left. And I'm pretty sure I already have a pack in my stash, but that's okay. We'll see how we go and when I de-stash another time. Now, these are the puffy white ones. I still have quite a few good letters, obviously no E's. Um, I even have to cut. There's no F's because I cut the F's. and I'm not cut the F, but use the F to make an E. Quite a few times. And then here is these ones that I said I would have so much trouble using, but I made some big titles and they worked really well, the bigger the title. So I have, I think these are cues, but I've been using them as O's. That's all the vowels I've got left. I don't even have any U's. I was trying to make something not long ago and I didn't even have, I needed a U and I was like, what? How do you run out of U? The letter U. So yeah, so there's a few bits and pieces to go in my container and a few pieces to go in my stash. And then what's left of the other bits and pieces is obviously the washi. I was not that good at killing the washi. I did really well at killing the stars. There's only two of these awesome, beautiful big ones. I got a couple of the vellum pieces that I've cut out or roughly cut out. I used them like doilies, so that was nice. Obviously the two distress inks. And then I just have a few bits and pieces of ephemera, things that I've cut, some chipboard, the exclusive ephemera, some of these puffy stickers, 
these are labels in here. So still a fair few. I didn't do too much project life, so I'm sure they would have used I would have used more if I did do project life, some words mostly from the exclusive ephemera and then you can see just some leaves so not much at all so I definitely think it could fit in here in terms of sitting on my desk for the next kind of few um, you know bits and pieces that I make because they will go it's you know it's Maggie Holmes it will go with quite a few awesome goodness and then I've got the September acrylic piece that will go into my album if I ever start my 2018 album and I will have every month in the resin from the um, Kitaholic kits so that I can use them as my title page or use them on my title page but yeah Steph was wondering if anyone is wanting them as words each month or are happy to keep it as the monthly you know the month by month piece resin that's going on. So I'm going to pause it here and then I'm going to come back with the layouts and all the projects that I made this month. There's a lot, so stay tuned. Hold on. Okay, I'm back with all the goodness that I've made. So I'm going to just do the layouts. I've done them in a bit of an order, but they're not 100% in order. And then I'll do the, the bulkier projects that I made afterwards. So when I unpack the ephemera and seeing all these floral pieces I knew I could then try the floral wreath design that everyone's been making and I had wanted to do it so that's my layout there I don't even have any room I made this one here I used my notebook punch to cut the edge there put some of the distress oxide ink I just smushed the ink pad across like that use the frame use foam stickers, a bit of journaling, and a bit of ephemera up here. And I l love this little bird, if it's going to focus. What's going on? The camera doesn't normally take that long to focus. Oh, goodness. Hello. What's that? Ah. Oh. Apparently autofocus was not on. So there's that beautiful, cute little bird. I just He's just adorable. So it's a lovely layout of my son, my eldest, when he was a baby. I used, I just cut out a, a heart from a piece of a notebook paper and stuck it down with the double-sided, like I, you know how you get like washi or anything and you fold it so that it's sticky on both sides. I stuck it down so that I could pull it up afterwards and whew, once the note paper was down like this I then stamped around it revealing this so there's a process video so this is one of the um, anyway I'll link the process videos down below because some of them are design team and some are on my normal channel and then I made this one so all these awards and banners there were some in the ephemera pieces and then some I cut from some of the pattern paper I just thought I had this idea if I used it like this if I use them in a cluster then they don't stand out as a one-off weird kind of a thing so I cut this was a cut apart like a project life card cut apart I just cut out the words you're some kind of wonderful and just added on fox and some panda and a cat because I could get them on there just a ruffle of the blue tulle the lovely colored blue tulle and then a ruffle of pattern paper in the background so yeah so that was nice the way it turned out to use up all those weird bits and pieces <laughs> so this was the first layout I made with using those stickers if you watched my unboxing and how I organized this kit this month you would have heard me say that I find it very hard to use these alphas that are different colors and, and different patterns and stuff but I think it went they went so well with this collection because of the colors so I did get them on a few layouts so I'm proud of myself and the way I did it was to make bigger titles if they were just small it sort of to me didn't look as well so obviously I just stuck down these hearts I use this DIY embellishment 
and stuck out some more hearts as the background with some distress, ox distress oxide packaging technique and layered up my photo and added some stamping and a whole pile of butterflies and goodness. Actually speaking, I did make some DIY embellishments, but I can't show you other than the photo. So I'll, sh I'll insert a photo, a clip of the photo now of the DIY embellishments that I made. But if you want to see how I made them and what they turned out to be um, in the video, then there's a link to the video down below. So like this layout that I did before where I used the heart to mask off and then stamped, I then used the heart and used the packaging technique and it came, did the same thing. It left the insert without any colour and I just outlined it with a black dotted line just to make it stand out more. Added a black border as well and just used some square pieces, some packaging a tag and some stickers to make this sweet, sweet photo, sweet layout. So there's a lot of photos of me and my eldest son, Patrick, and here he is in a more recent photo because that's the project I'm, the album I'm working on. So I have a lot of photos to go into that album, but also a lot of photos spare that if I can just make so that I have duplicates of photos with different design layout so if he wants to keep any he can or whether he wants to take some to his dad's house so that he's they have photos there or whatever that's fine I don't mind double scrapping photos I don't do it like every single photo so it's not like I'm wasting supplies at all this is a layout which probably should have been a lot further down and what happened and the, the reason I know that is because I was packing away like I said earlier, I was trying to pack away and then noticed that there's all these teacups and I was like, oh, surely I've got a photo of um, drinking tea. And then I thought, oh, that's right. When we went for breakfast not long ago, Patrick got his tea. He ordered a tea for breakfast with his food and they came out with a teapot. So he was quite, quite excited to be able to pour his own tea and then drink it and he loved it so I really like the title so fancy words to live by <laughs> so like when you drink tea when you're out in public I think it's just it feels very fancy so I've just used like scraps of paper so these are really no bigger than what's going on behind so just a strip there a little strip strip I just had to piece it all together because I didn't have much left at all and as you can see the only I've got teacups and stars and hearts and words. So you really know that I was running out of supplies. So this is a layout that I made on the live stream last weekend. And what I did was it was pretty much asking the viewers to tell me what to do. Actually, it wasn't pretty much. It was exactly that. So I asked them what I was going to make. So whether it was going to be a 12 by 12 or a Traveler's Notebook or Mixed Media, Art Journal, Project Life. They all decided, obviously, a 12 by 12 and then they told me I needed to gesso it and then I needed to packaging technique, stamp, layer these hearts up, only the pink, uh, purple and the blue ones. And they even told me what um, paper layers I needed and the title. So that was really cool and fun experience. So um, it's sort of, it's sort of like someone like scrap lifting and just copying someone or um, doing a blind scrap where people tell you what to do and then you interpret it. So it was really fun, really, really fun. And you can still watch that. That's over on the Facebook group and I'll link that down below. So this layout I also did on that live stream. This one I did um, the way I would like to do it, which it's not to say that I don't like this one because I really love this one. It's so cute. They even chose the photo out of the photos I had sitting on my desk. And it just is so delightful. I love it. This one, I just use the stencil here with some white texture paste all over the background. And then so while it dried, because I didn't want to use the heater, the heat gun. Oh, I haven't added my journaling. 
Um, I didn't want to use the heat gun while I was on the live for too long. So I just sat there and I spoke to them and talked and answered questions and read the, the chat feed. But while I was there, I just layered up all these bits and pieces behind this photo. I even made this cluster and made my title on the place on the plastic. And then I stuck it down or, you know, hovered it over and went, yep, that's what I want. Stuck it all down, added these little bits of pieces. And it was just a, an adorable layout that comes together. So this is a, my youngest son who was sitting on the on the step there while we said goodbye to his older brother going to school for the first, one of the first times. He was sad that he was going to be at home during the day by himself. So this was for this weekend on the long October long weekend. Well, September, October long weekend. What would you call it? I call it October long weekend, even though only the Mondays in October. We had a cyber crop over on the Kidaholics community group, so Facebook page. And this one of the challenges was to scrap lift someone on the design team. So I decided I would scrap lift Deb, who did this lovely heart. So she did the grid with the hearts, and then she had a frame and two flower clusters, and that was, and then she had these black words. I think she didn't have anything else. She didn't have like all this going on. So when I did it, I used the hearts and the frame and the flower clusters as inspiration. And then as it went along, I added some butterflies out, added a title and some goodness this way. And these two little girls that I was happy to get, the panda and the cat girl, on a layout. Just, you know, me and my friend being wild. So <laughs> it was a, a perfectly good way to put something on. And then I bordered it with the vellum piece. Just thought that went so nicely to to capture the layout into into one so it wasn't just you know floating off the page but also it tied in the gold and gold rather than all the other colors all melded together didn't want to put like a pink or anything around the edge excuse me <clears throat> so the other one of the other things that we had going was a sketch and this is using the sketch here so I've just used the distress ink to push down and make this blue line use two strips of the washi and then rip this um, lovely paper from Maggie Holmes there Maggie Holmes Willow Lane pretty sure she made it and then so I've got the journaling down here with some of these word strips I added the vellum like doilies one, two, three, four. I thought this lemon tree would go perfectly and use a piece of exclusive ephemera. I cut out some of these tiny word stickers to get the at and the. Actually, I the word the word at wasn't by itself. I actually cut it out of a different word. I don't know. I can't remember. But you can see it there. So you can see that I cut something and oh there I cut it out of whatever <laughs> so <laughs> so sometimes you just have to be a bit cheeky and and go with it so family fun at the park so that's that layout so it's nice to to get some multiple photo layouts while you can this one still counts I think it's got a few bits and pieces obviously I really went into my stash to get a few more pieces there was a mood board challenge which hmm sneaky sneaky there was I'll have to look because I made this and then I made an art journal page oh okay so I made a a page for the mood board on the cyber crop but it doesn't use any of this collection, so it's not in this killer kit video. However, I used it, I cut out circles, I had lots of paint left in the colours, so I smushed it onto this paper, and then I smushed it in my art journal, which then made another uh, art journal as well. So this one here used like the black words, some stickers, exclusive ephemera, stars, uh... Yeah, this unicorn's from there. This house. Perfect day. 
this love heart and magical day so yeah you can see there's a few things on there that are from the kit some of the washi otherwise I did go into my stash to pull out some of this other goodness so I've seen people do some, a painty background and then just have ephemera and the photo and the ephemera and that's what my idea was but then I kept adding stuff and then so it became a wider and then it went up the sides and I, I really like it it's really like eclectic and like everything just you know everything there <laughs> I also used some of the chill and I tied it up with some twine and it's just yeah it's different I like it and I don't know that I'd do it again maybe I would it does it's a good way to use up a few bits and pieces if you are at the end and trying to work out what you want to do so here's an eight and a half by eleven piece of um or a layout and i just cut or cut some of these papers into two by two squares and just made two lines then used a little photo printed on my selfie so this is the card size from a selfie it does go to about there this is chipboard used a couple of the hearts they're not hearts, they're butterflies. <laughs> a tag from the cut apart sheet and some flowers and leaves. Some of the gold exclusive ephemera added the word, the clear sticker on there. And this is another gold clear sticker. So that's just a simple, sweet layout, but packs a punch in terms of using up and killing the kit. So because I'd made that layout with the butterflies on the live stream I had these green and yellow butterflies because what I did was I cut out the two papers or like we had because I get the pay add-on page add-on paper kit ugh. I then get two of each paper and I cut out the two pattern papers that had the butterflies on it so I had a million butterflies so this one I decided I'd add a bit of layering here some of these are cut aparts that I thought I'm not going to use now they're just not going to work and then I made half a wreath here with the butterflies like they're taking off added some paint splatters some hearts in between a little bit of journaling and this is from the Maggie Holmes carousel this title so that's that sweet layout Here's another layout idea that I had using up scraps. So I just cut these. These are two inches by one inch. No. Because if that's two inches, how could that be one inch? Maybe by half an inch. And Anyway, they're all the same size. I cut them down, put the pink washi and the grey washi and added this bit of twine doubled up just for something to look at and then I use some of the scraps of paper to layer behind this a beautiful photo of us added the clear sticker title and wrote ha 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 and this foam sticker grabbed a more a couple more butterflies from my stash that was sitting on the table and some of these chipboard stars and hearts to to finish off that layout so <laughs> that's a bit funny Whoop, upside down. So, like I said before with the teacups, this is a layout that I decided when I was packing up. Sorry, just needed a gulp of water. So while I was packing up, I noticed there was all these clocks. I had been noticing them, but I was really noticing that there was quite a few, and I was like, okay, if I put them together <clears throat> and think of a title, maybe that could help me. So I thought of having the like I thought of time of our lives, and then I seen this photo that was sitting in my little pile on my desk to scrap and choose from, and this is how this came together. And like I said, using those alphas in a big title means that it doesn't look so um, odd with all the colours and patterns competing. So I just added some ink splatters with all the the, the two distress colours and some of the paint colour in the teal bunched up these clocks this is a foam sticker title star and a heart and two butterflies this one's a foam one and then I just added the title and another clock and star in and just two layers up on of behind the photo not even full layers 
that pink is only there that's up on fun foam and that's a sweet fun little I really like the way it turned out I'm like when I got this collection and I've been looking at it before I even got it and I was like why why do we have cuckoo clocks I don't understand how we can use them and I think I really like the way I've used it that's for sure so getting to not much left but I'm still trying to pack up and and make this killer kit video but then I remember um we had another challenge in the cyber crop and I haven't done all the challenges but I've done a few and one was to use a no to use no person in the photo so I had this photo that I actually stole off someone um who'd taken it at the Floriad Festival in Canberra here and at night time this floating flower on the lake or the pond lights up like this so I thought oh I wonder if I could spell Floriad in the pink I could I spelt it in the pink and then I thought oh at night and that brought in the yellow so then I swapped some of these letters for yellow and was able to manage a photo a flower cluster with the little bit that I had left and use some stickers to you know bulk out this cluster and make a little cluster here obviously I started with some of the pink distressed um, just distressed oxide ink in the background. I did stamp. Mm, can you see? I did use the stamp that has the little dots, but I, well, you can see it there. But what I did was I used the pink. So it's pink on pink with the same color, but I just wanted it for a bit of subtle interest. Now I knew there was not much left and I needed to do some Project Life to use some of the more of the ephemera. So I've done this one here. I need to glue on my chipboard letters because they're falling off. So feeding the ducks. Some a journaling. I did use this pattern paper from the Flourish collection. And look at those cute little swans. And then over the back. had to use those houses together so if there's this weird icon that you're just not sure about and there's a few of them then just use them together I use one of those awards and because you know we're sitting up and learning how to sit up and play I thought it went so well together and then this is a DIY embellishment and I added these little pieces of arrows and then last but not least for the layouts I made this layout just before I made this video so I thought I needed to use more of these hearts so I laid them on here made a tissue paper ruffle used a doily and you now look there is three pieces there to just to cover that corner to make sure and then look I cover this corner which wasn't easy fix and um with the paper and if I known I was going to cover it I wouldn't have bothered I would have moved it down here but that's okay that's how it works you can't tell unless you look super close that there is three pieces of paper there to make that corner so just using what I had left in terms of the flower and the chipboard pieces little fox because he's cute and then that's just a simple eight and a half by 11 layout. So that's what I made in terms of layouts. I was like looking for my other projects, but I just put them underneath all these layouts. <laughs> Seriously, had a lot going on. We had a um, <clears throat> killer kit challenge for, oh, orange has come through, for the design team. So that's why we've all been working our butts off and, and making as much as possible so this is an art journal layout obviously page I used a DIY embellishment here to start the title off and add some interest and used a lot of the bits and pieces from the stamp set that we got so that's the art journal layout or page and then Early on in the piece, I made this mini album. I made it from scratch. It's a six by six, four inch spine. So it's 
kind of bulky, but it's really fun. I made it for my sister who and her fiance that got engaged and they have an engagement party. And it's just made by cardboard, covered with some muslin and some paper and some gel medium to, to make it strong. So normally I've followed a in, like a video that showed how to make this. Normally they wouldn't glue the spine to this to the album and then it um, just opens and then lays really flat. It doesn't lay like that as much now because I did glue it. But it was, um, I made it quite bulky in here so it needed to, to stick there. It still works. I like it. Something cute and different for a present rather than um, nothing really. <laughs> So I used another DIY embellishment, painted the background and some splatters. Obviously, I don't have permission for photos, so I will hold it up, but there is post-its over them. So early on in the piece, it was one of the, I made the four design team layout pieces, maybe one more, and then I started making this mini album one weekend at the beginning of the month and or the middle of the month and used it up and stayed up late. So I used a fair bit of, of goodies. Um, but then it's been the never ending kit. Here's another DIY embellishment. It's been the never ending kit. And I still think in terms of embellishments, I still have a fair bit left. So this photo cuts their head off, but I need to reprint it and put it in this frame. Whoop. I did use this paper from the Flourish collection because I didn't have enough to add to that add to the album as a six by six doily from my stash this is a pocket so there's a, a tag and another tag and then a photo a little bird so pretty simple but really because it goes together so nicely I really like the way it has turned out and this is my little um, prototype trial so like I said oh stay on their heart that doesn't seem like it would go there um, like it shouldn't be stuck to the spine but this I will um, make again I'm deciding whether I um, but when I make it again I will record the process so that you guys can have a look and learn how I how I did it and then that page is stuck to the back because that page is what normally holds it all together but like I said I and like I said it a million times now glued the spine together so that's that so I made a full mini album and embellished it made the art journal page that I've now closed and then made a whole pile of layouts. So Project Life. Oh, good. Look at all the letters. They just went everywhere. Told you I needed to glue them down. <laughs> so, yeah, I will link down below the videos that I have up. And then, obviously, if you subscribe to my channel, you will see the ones that are will be edited and voiceovered in the next few days before the October kits arrive and we get cranking with those ones. So thanks for watching my killer kit video and hope you got some time to scrap your little hearts out this month and I feel really nice. The last two months I've had a, a pretty good amount of time or blocks of time to scrap. Unfortunately, my Scraptober my scrap timber project for the baby boy album didn't go as as planned with a video a day however i'm going to lead it into october and call it scraptober and make it like a two-month project and because i really would like to get it done so yeah anyway i'll talk to you in my next video bye